Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's keep up with our analysis of the coal market. So today's weekly report we have tried to show you that actually the driving factors uh, are really wider than just uh, expectation of the Fed pivot. So and uh, we have shown some even surprising driving factors that you maybe even don't think about them. So they exist and that particular what uh, actually makes gold market to move. Uh, to confirm this, uh, we just could use the common sense, and it is difficult to explain why gold showed uh, upper performance in a so strong pace if United States economy shows 5% growth and the Fed stands at the edge of the rate cut. So this combination seems not quite expected, and uh, it's difficult to explain. And if you'll take a look at details, we will see that really some very important driving factors stand uh, behind and sometimes even those that you can't heard about on a, on TV and on the mass media. So if you read the report, you will see uh, what I'm talking about. It's really might be some surprising. Some factors are looks really surprising. Speaking on the short term perspective, uh, well, here we mostly have weekly target that hasn't been quite reached. So I'm speaking about 2095 area. And on the daily chart, you could see that daily labor bot stands approximately the same area. So currently market stands around 2070. Our bot will be for the next few sessions around 2085, just for the Monday. Uh, and that led us to suggest that if nothing really extreme will happen next week, so somewhere around 2095, 2021, 20, it should be kind of the sale for a common week. Since the big targets uh, are working like the magnet for the market, it's uh, logical to suggest that hardly big retracement will happen until the market will reach this target. It, and this uh, creates uh, very common strategy that until major target is hit, we could consider buying the dips on the intraday charts. That's the major thing that we intend to do on a common week. Currently, we are not considering taking any short position. So obviously, we do not have any context for that. Even on the hourly chart, we do not have any bearish signs by far. So we will see what will happen around uh, 21, uh, 2095 area. Maybe there will be some patterns that will trigger some pullback. But for now, uh, context stands definitely bullish and we intend to consider some support areas that potentially might be interesting to take the long position on the way of the market to the target. It mostly stands on the weekly. On the daily chart, OP stands significantly high around 2130 and that will be next destination. Speaking about the COP, take a look how market has passed. So actually it was very small reaction, not even the 30% support. Very small bounce and then acceleration. This just shows the strength of the market and let us think to, and in general suggest that probably next week sub prediction should continue. So uh, that's why on the intraday charts, the old things that we need currently is only levels. Uh, first level to consider probably will be somewhere around 2040, 2045 with this 30% support most our prediction. Here's maybe some pullback. Well, we have the confidence that uh, looks really attractive for 2020 and it actually stands very close to the previous top. But in the current circumstances, it seems that this retracement will be too strong. Uh, this retracement might be okay if we would standing at the major target. But since we're just on the way to it, uh, probably retracement will be smaller. And uh, 2040, it will be, well, really good retracement if it will happen. It might be even smaller, so maybe market will show just minor pullback on the most recent top protection. We will see. But uh, general approach currently stands so that we just will be looking for the dips and consider chances to take the long position because trend stands bullish. Uh, market is not overbought by far. Market is not at the major target yet. 
So this combination suggests that we just need to uh, trying to get good entry point while the market will fall into the major destination point. So uh, taking the position right here in 2070, well, uh, maybe it makes sense from from points of view that uh, actually 2095 stands $25 above it. But from the risk reward ratio, it's not very attractive because you will have to hide your stop somewhere below this area. From that standpoint, I would say that we have no choice um, just to wait when the pullback will happen because we need to get a uh, risk reward ratio below the one. So reward should be greater than the potential risk. So um, that's actually our two cents on the gold. Everything goes very well and actually market follows our long term suggestion. Um, and now we just come on next week. We just will be watching for these uh, setups while the market will keep going to the 2095 target.